God's team, we've talked about how the Olympians all come together to be on a team. We've talked about how we are all together on God's team. We've talked about how the Olympians get ready to train their bodies for their event. We've talked about how on God's team, we get ready by reading God's word and hearing all that he does for us. Well, if we are ready, then what comes next? Are you set? Just before the race begins, you might hear those words. Runners, take your mark. Set. Bang! And the race goes on. But what does it mean for the Olympians to be set? It means they're steady. And they are trusting that all they did to get ready is going to help them to win their prize. How do we get set on God's team? He has made us ready. To be set means to trust in him. Today, I am going to tell you about a man named David who trusted in God to take care of him. And God certainly does. And we're going to find out also how God takes care of us and how much we can trust him to help us win our prize. In the Olympics, the prize will be a gold medal. On God's team, our prize is to live forever with him in heaven. Let me tell you about that man named David. David. David was a shepherd boy. He took care of his daddy's sheep. One day, his daddy came and said, I want you to take some food to your brothers who are fighting in King Saul's army. So David did, and when he got to the battlefield, on one hill was King Saul's army, and on the other hill was the enemy. And every day, the enemy sent out a very big man. His name was Goliath, and he was a giant. He was nine feet tall. If you sat on top of the shoulders of a grown-up, maybe then you would be nine feet tall. Goliath was a giant. He wore a big helmet to protect his head. He wore metal armor to protect his body. He carried a very heavy spear in one hand and a sword in the other. He even had a shield that was so big he didn't carry it. He had another soldier carry it for him. And every day, Goliath would come out of the enemy's hill and he would say, Who will fight me? All of the soldiers on King Saul's side were afraid of Goliath. When David came, he was very upset to see Goliath mocking God's people. So he went to King Saul and he said, I will fight Goliath. And Saul said, but you're just a boy. Goliath is a fully grown man and he is a well-trained soldier. You are too little. You cannot fight Goliath. 
David looked right at King Saul and he said, Saul, I am a shepherd. I take care of my father's sheep. One day, a lion came to attack the sheep and God helped me to fight the lion and I killed him. Another day, a bear came to attack the sheep and God was with me to fight the bear and I killed him. The God who was with me to fight a lion and to fight a bear will help me to fight Goliath. And so Saul said, yes, you may go. David took only a few things with him. One, he took with him his shepherd's stick, what can a little stick do against a giant with a mighty spear and a flashing sword? He took with him his sling, which he would swing around and throw stones with. And he stopped by the river and he dipped his hand in the cool water and he picked out five smooth stones. A shepherd's stick a sling, five stones, one more thing. David took with him God. He trusted that God would be with him and God kept that promise. David walked out towards Goliath and Goliath said, Come here that I might kill you. And David said, you come at me with a mighty spear and a sword and full metal armor. But I come in the name of the almighty God. You have made fun of him. But today God will be with me and I will defeat you. David took one stone, put it inside his sling, swung it around his head, and let go. The stone went flying toward Goliath. Goliath was wearing that big helmet. His body was covered with armor, but God took that stone to the one spot that wasn't covered. That stone hit Goliath in his forehead, sunk inside his head, and Goliath fell down dead. When all of the enemy camp saw that their giant had died, they ran away. And Saul's army ran after them, and God helped all of them win the battle. David trusted in God. David was all set. We are on God's team. Do you know what that means? That means we can trust in God to save us. And he did. He saved us by sending us Jesus to die on the cross and take away our sins so that we can win better than a gold medal. We get to go to heaven to be with him. We are all set. I want you to memorize another memory treasure. I want you to put it in your head and put it in your heart so that you always can know that God is here for you. Our memory treasure today comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And it says, trust in the Lord with 
all your heart. Let's pray. Lord, you know what is best for me. Help me trust you happily. Amen. Have fun today. Bye.